What's the matter? I'm worried about co-pilot man. I think it can replace me. Yeah, I don't think you should worry about co-pilot man. Come, I'll show you what it can actually do. Come on. Here is a file with some data extracted from our CRM system. Let's use Copilot to analyze this. Before you can use Copilot, you need to have a correct license with Microsoft to use it. Right now, the Copilot is available for large corporate clients, but eventually individual customers will also be able to get it. As you can see, it appears on the home ribbon in the corner here. Right now it is grayed out. This is because we cannot use Copilot until the file is uploaded to OneDrive or SharePoint. So I'm going to save this file onto my OneDrive. And then the Copilot button lights up. Even though it doesn't tell you here, Copilot cannot actually use the data on your workbook until it is formatted as a table. So I'm going to set this data as a table by pressing Ctrl T. Now that it is in tabular format, let's talk to Copilot. So when you click on Copilot, it's going to open a tab on the right hand side with all the Copilot options. This bit is a bit like search engine or chat GPT along with some built in buttons that can initiate pre-built prompts. So for example, it tells me select an option to learn how I can work with your data in Excel tables. So as I was saying, we do need to have the data in tables. You can add columns, you can highlight, you can sort and filter, or you can analyze. We are going to use these pre-built ones later, but for now, I want to ask it something. For example, looking at this data, I wanted to know who have not provided their email addresses. Can you filter all rows without email? One thing I noticed with Copilot is it is actually quite slow. Maybe it's because it is still in preview mode, but for example, that kind of a filtering would be almost done in a fraction of a second if you do it manually, whereas Copilot is taking a lot of time to do it. So it is helpful if you don't know how to do it, but otherwise it can kind of take a while. So here it has filtered the list of people that have provided just email. Now you can see that it has completely misunderstood the query. It says, can you filter all rows without email? And it has actually filtered people with email. So it says where the values does not equal to like what? So that feels silly, but I guess this is where the gap between human communication and AI understanding are currently not converging very well. Let's try this again. I meant email is blank. So there we go. Now it has identified all the records that have no email address. And now let's try some of the other things. We can clear the filters. You can just ask it clear the filters and it would do it. The only problem that I'm finding with most of these basic commands is it's just too slow. The moment I type it and wait for it to happen, I could have done this assuming I know Excel well. But a lot of people don't know Excel very well or they are still learning and for them Copilot would be an excellent companion because it can get things done for you as well as tell you what it has been doing so you can maybe learn it a little bit. Of course, there's one thing that Copilot cannot do but you can do which is liking this video. So if you're enjoying this video so far, give it a like. It really helps me. Now let's take a look at more of Copilot. Now let's write a column that tells me the day of week they visited on. You can say, can you add a column with day of week? Notice that here I didn't say add the column based on visited on date. Let's see if it can figure this out. Otherwise we may have to spell things out for it again. So Copilot will write the formula, but it won't actually add the column directly it will give you an option to say insert column. So I'm going to insert this column and you'll see that it has added that column right now to my screen and the day of week is given here. You can also see the formula here. It says visited on date and then formatted using DDDD using the text formula so that it converts that into day of week. If I scroll all the way down, you'll see that in our data, the sample data that I provided, 
there are a lot of blank rows that do not have a date associated. Now, Copilot has put all of these dates as Saturday. This is because these dates are technically 0th day or the starting of Excel's time, which happens to be a Saturday. This may not be relevant or useful for you. So if you don't want that, you can further ask another prompt. For example, I could say, unfortunately, it hasn't come up with the right formula here. You can change the prompt and try again. I'm going to give up and try something else. For example, the next thing that I want to do is from the email address, I want to extract the domain name. Can you add a column with domain name from email address? And then I'm going to give it, for example, let's take this guy here. Should be nifty.com. Unfortunately, not just in this try, I tried these th kind of things previously before I recorded this video. Copilot couldn't write that kind of a formula. I'm not really sure how advanced the Copilot formula engine is, but it couldn't figure this out. For example, I'm going to try the same thing on ChatGPT. So in ChatGPT, I'm saying I have email addresses in a column A in Excel. Can you tell me the formula to extract the domain name? For example, this email address should be nifty.com. Let's see if ChatGPT can give me the formula. Bingo, it has given me the exact formula that I want. Write A1, len A1, find at the rate A1. So it finds the at the rate symbol and then gives you everything after the symbol by writing the necessary formula. Whereas Copilot couldn't do that, I, even though probably they both use the same LLM or the GPT behind scenes, so that is one use case for Copilot. You can analyze the data, you can clean data, you can add columns, you can kind of come up with formulas. But it can also do some other things. For example, it can show insights from your data. Let's see this. This is kind of like a blind thing because we have not really given it any exact thing to do. I'm just going to click on show data insights to see what it will find. So it gave me a graph that shows first name by visited on. This kind of a thing is kind of ridiculous, but it can also show you that, you know, we have got a consistent pattern of people visiting our facilities, except there is a big spike at the end. If you're wondering what that spike is, it's because a lot of people have not bothered entering the visiting date. So those that big spike corresponds to all the blank values. And if you like that, you can add it to a new sheet. For example, I'm going to add that and it creates this kind of a pivot chart that has all the underlying pivot values for each date. Like I mentioned, you can see that the blank value has 57 items, which corresponds to that big spike in the graph here. And then you can keep asking, for example, can I see another insight or you can say add all insights to grid. Let's try this. So there you go, it has made many, many charts, all feeding off different pivot tables. This is actually quite impressive, isn't it? I mean, even though it's probably not very helpful and accurate, it is quite fast and it generates everything for us. So for us, first name, the trend, and then again, you can see a big spike on Saturday. This is because it hasn't fixed the problem with those blank dates. I would say most of these insights are not very useful, but again, you might find that with more realistic data and things that have a lot more trends in them, this might actually provide some valuable insights. Even though it says I can highlight, filter and sort data, I haven't had much luck with the highlight part. So I'm going to try this again. This is because the outputs with Copilot tend to differ from session to session. So like I'm demonstrating these things to you now, but when you try to use it at your work, you might see different outputs or different way of getting things done. So for example, I want to highlight all the visitors who visited on 2nd of December. Can you highlight? Notice that here I'm just saying December without even specifying 2023. I'm not sure if it will pick up on that queue. Let's see. I'm sorry, but it seems I'm unable to perform the requested action at this time. The running joke that I have with Copilot is it says I'm sorry more often than actually being helpful. Uh, but let's try again. Uh, I'm going to retype this. There you go. Again, I'm sorry. 
maybe it's because of the date. I'm gonna give it one more try before we hang up on this conversation. Can you highlight? Finally, it has done the thing. Can you highlight all professor values in the job title column? And it has done this. I have applied yellow fill color and a black color font to the text in the column job title that contains professor. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now, what I want to know is whether this is dynamic or static. So I'm going to change something here. I'm going to call this person operator and the color goes off. I'm wondering this is all done because it has applied a conditional formatting rule. So I'll select this column, look at manage rules. And here you can see that cell value contains professor rule is applied with the yellow coloring on it. As it hasn't explained that to me, I'm going to ask question to copilot. Can you tell me how you did that? So now it tells me I use it conditional formatting feature in Excel to highlight the cells in the job title column that contain the text professor. So as you can see, while Copilot does have some really useful features, it is not even close to doing what we as humans can do. That is because Copilot is not human. It cannot work in teams. It cannot understand the problem. It cannot think for itself. It cannot solve things on its own. And this is where the value of us data analysts lies. So my answer to you as well as Chantu is, don't worry about Copilot as a competition. Think of it as actually a Copilot. The Copilot is there to help me when I'm a little tired or when I want some help that can be fairly automated. So maybe you have a task that you do every day that takes 10 minutes. You can use Copilot and automate that so that you can focus that 10 minutes on delivering valuable insights or understanding your business better. And that is where I think apart from Copilot, the other useful AI features that are already there in Excel are even more valuable. Here is a video where I talk about my top five already existing AI features in Excel. Check out that video. I'll catch you there. Bye.